So what is cognitive neuroscience? Cognitive neuroscience is, it is a, you can say it is a discipline that is where both cognitive part is dependent on neuroscience and neuroscience part is dependent on cognitive part. So how does this happen? Now let's see, uh, we want to know what is the role or what is the role of our brain in uh, the various decisions we make in the way we act or uh, in the way we perceive things. So what we do, we try to find out uh, from our from the functioning of our brain that how this happens. OK, so how that can be done, that can be done in three ways. Number one, if a person is already having some cognitive deficit, we can try to um, see his behavior or uh, look at his uh, the, uh, look at his mental processes by placing electrodes or anything. That is one part. Second, we can do if we are having uh, some uh, specialized uh, uh, techniques like brain imaging and all of these, you know, for uh, scanning and uh, um, magnetic resonance and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And third is after death. So sometimes after death also, if a person was suffering from, let's say, a very um, very critical disease and he he has, you know, he just uh, died. And so through post-mortem and everything also we can know, okay? So these are uh, some of the ways uh, where we can find out the brain activity and from functioning of the brain, we can know what a person is thinking, how a person is feeling, uh, how has he, you know, uh, how, how are his thought process, et cetera, et cetera, okay?